Stanley Mills in Perthshire is one of the best preserved relics of the 18th century Industrial Revolution. It was established as a cotton mill by local merchants with support from the English cotton baron Richard Arkwright. Textiles were produced here for 200 years. The 1960s was a time of major social change in terms of music, fashion, politics and working life. It was also a turning point in the history of the mills as the owners made the decision to stop cotton production in favour of man-made fibres such as Orlon. This decision ultimately led to the closure of the mills in 1989. Today, Stanley Mills is run as a high-tech visitor centre owned and managed by Historic Scotland. Between March and September 2013, Historic Scotland's learning services worked with guide units from Perthshire on a project to engage girls aged 10 to 15 with their industrial heritage. The project, called Exploring the 60s at Stanley Mills, was funded by the Heritage Lottery Fund's All Our Stories funding scheme and explored the working and social life of women during the 1960s. The guide units received an activity pack to learn about different aspects of the 1960s, from work to music and fashion. These packs provided the basis for research by the girls in preparation for their subsequent visits to the mills. The girls were encouraged to interview people they knew about their experiences of living through the 60s. The first visit each unit made to the mills was in the evening. The girls explored the mills and found out how the shift from natural to man-made materials influenced the fashions of the time and the future of the mills. They also met and interviewed former workers from that era to find out firsthand what it was like to work in the mills aged just 14. Sandy Shaw, that was about it. I'm 
Cool. And did anything surprise you about your visit to the 60s night at the mills tonight? I was surprised by the time that Anne got up and that she worked really early. I was also quite surprised by the length of the skirts. Uh, anything else that surprised you? Um, probably the accidents and how people got their fingers chopped off. Even in the 1960s? Yeah. yeah. Uh, what about the age that she started work? I think it was quite young as well because quite early, like it's only my age. And yeah, what age are you just now? I'm 14. I'm Mary Donald and I'm Julie Young and we're from Point Point Left Games. Uh, what I found out tonight was that there was more women and, than men and that the women in the band room scared the men quite a bit. And I found out that every Friday night most of the girls went to this thing called a record hop and Anne like, used to scratch the boys she met their names onto her like, sewing desk. What was your favourite bit about the night? Um, probably meeting the two ladies who worked here and getting told more facts that I didn't already know. Uh -huh. And what was your favourite story that they told you? Um, about the lady who, after she retired, still worked here because it was like her family, even though she didn't get paid. Uh -huh. Guys, we're here at um, Stanley Mills to talk about how life was. In the 60s. I uh, really enjoyed when Anne talked about what life was like in the 60s. Like how different it was and just clothes and the money and everything like that. It's just so much different. Like, it's, such a, well, it's not that much longer. It's interesting. Like a different type of process. Yeah. Thank you. Um, I think I'm looking forward to learning how to do like the dance or the designing. I'm not too sure which one I'm going to do, but I think it'll be really fun. The evening visits were followed by day visits to the mills, where the girls learned dressmaking and collage skills to create their own 1960s inspired fashions and dance techniques and music from the period to create their own 1960s inspired dance routines. They used the movements they had observed from the workers in the mills to inform their final dance piece.
All the work that was created during the day visit was taken back to their guide community and they were encouraged to teach the techniques to others in the unit, to develop the work and then to share that in the wider community through performance and exhibition. This project was about exploring, collaborating, creating and sharing. It has really engaged the girls involved and they're still talking about it and planning what to do next. For Historic Scotland, this project has allowed us to celebrate the role of women in Scotland's industrial heritage and to engage with the women of the future.